Hey everyone, it's Kevin again. So, uh, today we're going to talk about the Firefly clip and how it works. So, we've seen in the previous tutorial that I was using bulbs, as we see over on this side here, right? But we've gotten a lot of questions on, on how the actual clip works and how to clean them actually, because a lot of times what you'll see there's a lot of debris that builds up after multiple uses, and so we'll kind of go through this now. So, we have this clip clipped into cue number one, and so what we'll do is we'll swipe to fire. You'll notice how that gets bright red and hot over here. So that's definitely enough to ignite a fuse, and what you also notice is that there is no composition in here, so it just uses electricity the entire way through. And what you'll notice is also how you pin the fuse down. So what you do is you put the fuse of the firework in here. Everything here is made out of heat-resistant plastic, and you just clip it down. Right, you want to make sure that the fuse itself makes contact with the coil. Clip it down and then kind of close. Right here on the side, you have a closed clip. Right? And then so afterwards, you're good to go. Now, after ignition, obviously the fuse is gone, but what you're going to have is a lot of debris in this area. And so we're going to work on how to clean this clip. And what you'll need is that screwdriver. For a deep clean and for a regular clean, all you have to do out in the field is take off this silicone pad, right there, just take it right off, and blow on it. Clean off all the debris. What you'll also see is the ability to do this. You can actually swipe again and empty fire the clip, and what that will do is it'll heat up that coil again. And what that does is it uses the heat to clean off all residue within the coil itself. Right, that's what you can do on the field, but if you want it a little deeper clean because you have a lot of residue on it, what you can do is you take a cotton swab, you take some alcohol, you will dip it in the alcohol itself, right? And then you just gonna clean off the contacts and then clean the coil itself to make sure that there's no debris on there. Okay, then afterwards, to make sure that it is dry, you swipe to fire one more time. It'll clean off that coil for you. But say you've used it quite a few times, quite a few shows, and you see there's a lot of debris inside the clip itself. What you then do is there, there are two screws right here that you undo. You just gently then lift off this coil. And there you go. What you can do with this now is clean off everywhere around. So just take your cotton swab, clean around, clean underneath. Make sure there's no more debris around. And then after you're done with that, take this coil. What you can do with the coil too is you clean the bottom of this coil where the connectors are. Place so it right back in. And then screw everything back in again. There you go, right as rain. And then you're good to go again, right? Don't forget the silicon padding. This actually protects the clip, this back clip over here, from the fuse. What we've tried to do with this too is to always guide the user on how to place that fuse. So you can't put it on the side, you can't put it behind, and you can't overshoot because then it won't close. So that's what we've tried to do over here. If there's any questions again, pop me an email or comment below. Thank you very much guys for watching. Have a great season.